What's going on YouTube? How is everybody today? Good to hear. Uh, today I want to talk about another kind of weird, strange album. It's by a band called Indian Jewelry. Uh, the name of the album is called Total. It was released on We Are Free Records. Uh, Indian Jewelry is a, I don't know, experimental pop rock band from Houston, Texas. They've been around as Indian Jewelry since 2005-ish, but they've had some name changes before that, so I'm not really sure how long they've been around. They've been known as Swarm of Angels, they've been known as Turquoise Diamonds, uh, another band name they had was Japanics, they might have had more, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, cool little experimental indie rock kind of band that blends a whole bunch of genres. They blend tribal music, indie rock, industrial, some, you know, electro, and some post-punk, and some garage, and this and that and stuff. It makes this kind of really kind of dark, spooky, uh, warped, dirty kind of music, where it's just kind of weird for weird sakes. It's got synthesizers, and, you know, treated vocals, lots of droning and drum machines, lots of garbled sounds scattered everywhere, and lots of bent and echoed and you know it's just very weird it's just a strange little trippy world they make for you it sounds different every time you hear it it's got all these alien sounds swirling around everywhere ideas coming in and out all these crazy bizarre effects stuff you've never really heard before sounds buzz and hum and sometimes they squeak and implode you know they float and expand it's crazy it's craziness I had a really good time listening to this album. I found it very intriguing, very imaginative, a little bit playful, sometimes abrasive. You know, it's the kind of music that sounds like a very genuine kind of drug trip. You're just walking around outside and all these lights are swirling and UFOs are beaming lights and your friend's turning into a robot and keeps repeating the same thing over and over and you're losing your mind. It's kind of a good soundtrack to that. Uh, it's their fourth album. Uh, it's kind of hard to decipher what the subject matter was about. I could pick up bits and pieces of what the lyrics were. There's songs about uh, destroyers of worlds. Uh, some songs talking about a chapel and coming back from the dead and, you know, heavens and stuff like that. It's kind of, I don't know, a dark subject matter, I guess. But it's all taken in a very playful way. Uh, I saw one uh, reviewer online who referred to this music as dark wave. I don't know. Like, it is kind of dark and spooky, but it's not so much so dark that it would have to be a wave of darkness. Dark wave? Like, new wave? Mmm, no. I just call it, if I had to name it anything, it's just kind of like mutated indie pop, maybe. A mutated indie electro pop or something like that, but I don't know. It does have a whole bunch of influences and different genres just kind of melded into one. Very weird. I can hear uh, bands that Indian jewelry on here remind me of. I can hear a little bit of Suicide. I can hear a little bit of Bauhaus and The Liars. A little bit of like really dark, warped Stereo Lab kind of songs. If Stereo Lab took some bad acid or something. It's kind of like couldn't sleep for three days and like had to record in the studio. It also reminds me a lot of this strange little band called Acceptor. If you know anything about Acceptor, they're also very kind of experimental and weird just for weird sakes. Just have an idea, go with it as long as they can. Acceptor's really good at pushing the boundaries of how much you can listen to too. These guys like to keep their songs uh, relatively short and kind of concise, a little bit tighter package there. but. Yeah, lots of fractured vocals, haunted, uh, fractured electronics, haunted vocals, weird synth tones, you know, weird blend of like hippie humans, like, you know, future avant-garde robots jamming together, it's kind of the feeling I got from it. I can see a lot of people not enjoying this album too, like it is kind of out there. It's got no killer riffs, it's got questionable production, and it does, it could seem a little bit aimless, but I don't know, I kind of like that in the album where they're just there just to make music, just to, for, sh you know, shits and giggles, and it's just strange. They probably have a killer live show too. I don't know, I really liked listening to it, and like I said, it was different every time I listened to it too, with all the wandering noises and ideas and crazy textures. Uh, the name of the album is Totaled, it's probably called that because there's like maybe a broken down car that's totaled on the side of the road there. There they are again, posing by this apparently broken down car. She's wearing a fur jacket and looks like on a summer day or something, it doesn't look that cold out, but... 
Not much in the way of artwork here, really. Just some pictures of the band, a picture of a lady looking in the mirror, some dudes sitting in the van, backstage, presumably. Who knows what's going on here? And then just the track listing there. This album didn't come with a sleeve, so they'll have no crazy fold out, uh, crazy collage on it. What are you gonna do? But yeah, I enjoyed it. Indian Jewelries. Uh, 2010 album released on We Are Free Records, totaled. If you're into that experimental, weird, bizarre, with all these interesting sounds and ideas, you might check these out. I found it very enjoyable. I read that their past albums are also kind of like this. They follow along the same theme. Some reviewers are kind of tired of their sound and wish they would do more with it. They wish they'd make a higher production value, try to make like a tighter, catchier song, but apparently Indian Julie will have nothing of that. This is the only album I have by them. I don't have a big frame of reference on them, but I did enjoy it. The only part of the album I did like where I felt like they were losing the plot was on the last song called Dog Days. It just seemed kind of meh, you know, just kind of thrown on there. It wasn't really completely thought out, but the rest of the album, you know, very enjoyable, very strange. You know, nothing even remotely close to like a hit single or anything like that. It might be, I could probably, maybe if I had to DJ a song, I could probably play the first track called Oceans, but... Anyway, if you're just sitting at home wanting to listen to something uh, really creative, something, you know, that'll give you sounds you probably have never ever heard before, it's lots of strange ideas, alien noises, probably check out Indian Jewelry. I did, I didn't regret it. Peace out.